Hey everyone, you know the world's most powerful nations are building new warships of the future. They're built with all of the new technological innovations. So join me for today's video because we're going to take a look at 15 of the most advanced warships in the world right now. Number 15, the Arleigh Burke class. While the Arleigh Burke class is relatively old, it's nonetheless one of the most advanced destroyers on the planet. First coming into service in 1991, there are a total of 70 in active service. They're deployed across the world to ensure safety and security of the West. In fact, since their launch, they've served in every theater of conflict for the U.S. Navy and throughout their time in service have carried out escort missions, deterrence patrols, anti-piracy missions, ballistic missile defense duties, land attacks, anti-air assaults, and humanitarian and disaster relief missions, making the Arleigh Burke a true jack of all trades. In order to do these tasks, this 8,900-ton ship uses powerful radars, has a large missile armament, and undergoes continuous upgrades, allowing it to constantly keep up with whatever's thrown at it. As a result, the Arleigh Burke class is truly elite. Number 14. The Otago Class while Japan's military can constitutionally only serve the role of homeland defense, given the country's proximity to North Korea and China, it is of the utmost importance that Japan is prepared for an invasion. It is for this reason that Japan constructed the formidable Otago class. First launched in 2007, there are a total of two Otago class destroyers out there, and an additional two that will likely be built in the future. Equipped with advanced radars, long-range missiles, and exo-atmospheric ballistic missile defenses, these 9,000-ton destroyers' main role is to protect against long-range air attacks, with this being especially important because Japan lacks the carrier-based jets that are generally used to perform those tasks. In any case, the large size and great tech means that the Otago class is one of the best ships in Asia, and thanks to its strength, Japan is more than capable of defending itself. Number 13. The Sea Hunter while the technology around the Sea Hunter may still be in its infancy, this small but mighty ship has the potential to one day have a massive impact on the U.S. military operations. First launched in 2016, it's an unmanned surface vessel that can operate with very little human guidance. More specifically, the idea behind the ship is that computers will drive and control it, although a human captain will always be on duty in a control room to take things over if things get sticky. However, despite this human backup, tests have shown that the Sea Hunter can patrol without human interference, and it can use its optical cameras and radar to avoid hitting obstacles such as rocks, landmines, or other boats. To top this off, it has the ability to hold armaments such as the anti-submarine warfare system, and it's because of this that the automated ship is super dangerous. Number 12. Type 94 Class in recent years, China has been upgrading their undersea capability, and the Type 094 class is an important part of that development. First launched in 2007, six out of a total of eight planned submarines are currently in active service. And while they certainly look scary, very little is known about these top-tier submarines. However, what we do know is that they measure in at a huge 133 meters in length, have a weight of 8,100 tons, and are equipped with a complex set of weapons. More specifically, these subs carry a total of 12 JL-2 submarine-launched intercontinental ballistic missiles, each of which carry a single 250 to 1,000 kiloton nuclear warhead and three to four smaller warheads with yields of 90 kilotons, with all of this being complemented by an array of six 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. It is with this armament that the submarine can protect against coastal threats and be used for offensive missions, and as a result, it plays a vital role in China's submarine program. Number 11. The Sejong the Great Class When it comes to its military, South Korea is routinely overlooked, but at this point in time, they're arguably in possession of the world's most advanced class of destroyers. Known as the Sejong the Great class, there are currently three in active service, and they stand apart for quite a few reasons. First and foremost, at about 10,000 tons, they're the world's heaviest destroyer, and due to their comprehensive sensor and weapons suite, they're able to perform practically any mission out there, be that cruise missile defense attacking land targets 1,500 kilometers away or high-intensity anti-submarine warfare. In fact, this class of ship are so good at their job that some observers believe that a single Sejong the Great warship has enough firepower to obliterate all of North Korea's surface, subsurface fleet, and ground targets, no matter where those ships and targets are located within its territory. As such, the Sejong the Great class certainly helps give South Korea a military advantage against many of its neighbors. Number 10. DDG-X 
While the DDG-X is still only in its concept stages, it's set to completely revolutionize the way in which the United States makes warships. Intended to be a surface destroyer that engages with above-water targets, the current plan is for the DDG-X to fire hypersonic missiles and lasers that would be ten times more powerful than the service's existing laser weapons, allowing these lasers to quickly destroy any incoming enemy missiles. In order to shoot down these missiles, the DTG-X will use a 32-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system, and in order to launch them, the hope is that the DTG-X will be able to travel 50% farther and spend 120% more time out on missions than more conventional vessels. Interestingly enough, while the plan is for the DDG-X to share some of the features of the new USS Zumwalt, it will generally lean towards more of the design of a conventional battleship, as it will have a massive body and swept angular bulbous bow design, rather than the wave-piercing sharp angles of the Zumwalt. And while each ship will likely cost billions of dollars, the hope is that the DDG-X will see action through the 2060s, making it the flagship of the future. Number 9. The Type 055 Destroyer While the Type 055 Destroyer is shrouded in a cloud of secrecy, it appears to be one of the Chinese Navy's most advanced new ships. Designed to both conduct naval assaults and escort Chinese aircraft carriers, the Type 055 first entered service in late 2020, and it stands apart due to its almost complete lack of radar signature. That's because despite being 180 meters long, its integrated mast and sleek superstructure make it extremely difficult to pick up on radar, and in terms of armaments, it's got no less than 128 vertical launching system cells to shoot out missiles, which include the YJ-18A anti-ship cruise missile, the HQ-10 short-range surface-to-air missile, and the HHQ-9B long-range surface-to-air missile. The ship can also move quickly from place to place, as it can reach speeds of more than 30 knots, although in regular operation it's got an average speed of about 18 knots and a standard range of about 9,300 kilometers. However, the real kicker about this ship is that it can carry up to three Harbin Z-9 and Changhe Z-18 helicopters, giving it a lot of versatility no matter the situation. As such, these battleships will likely be critical if China ever engages in a large naval conflict. Number 8. The Zhu Haiyun now, generally speaking, very large ships are quite complicated, and as a result, they need a team of human crew members to man them in order to make them work. However, China is developing a new battleship that will be able to run autonomously. Known as the Zhu Haiyun, it's 90 meters long, 13 meters wide, and 6 meters deep, which for reference is about half the size of the largest battleships on the ocean. In terms of capacity, state medias claim that it can carry 50 unmanned systems including autonomous boats, drones, and underwater vehicles. And due to this incredible fact, it's been described by the company as being the world's first intelligent unmanned system mothership. From a Western standpoint, it's believed that such a ship could have both intelligence and military functionality. And while some praise for its ability to attack targets without risking any human lives, there's also many potential problems. After all, if such a ship is hacked or otherwise hijacked, the lack of any humans aboard may allow it to be turned against the Chinese, which would in turn be bad news for China in a military situation. However, at this point, it's impossible to know just how impactful this vessel will be. Number 7. The Nimitz-class aircraft carrier all right, this one's a little bit older, but when it comes to aircraft carriers, few are quite as accomplished as America's Nimitz class. First commissioned in 1968, the Nimitz has gone through a total of three subclasses, and the latest ones are truly incredible. That's because they can not only carry up to 36 Super Hornet planes, but they can also simultaneously hold 12 FA-18C Hornets, six EA-18G Growlers for electronic warfare, 6D Hawkeyes for airborne early warning protection, and a squadron of eight anti-submarine helicopters. In order to contain all these aircraft, the Nimitz is a total of 332 meters in length and 77 meters in width, which for reference is the approximate size of four professional soccer fields stacked back to back. While its displacement of about 105,000 tons means that a Nimitz weight is roughly equal to over 9,000 school buses. However, beyond acting as an aircraft launcher, these incredible ships are also incredibly well-armed, as they have up to 24 NATO Sea Sparrow missiles and four RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles on board. And in order to move from place to place, two Westinghouse nuclear reactors and four steam turbines work in sync so the Nimitz can reach any corner of the globe. The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers truly are some of the most incredible naval vessels out there. Number 6. The Sail Drone 
While most drones are tiny little machines that fly through the skies, the sail drone is their aquatic cousin, and it's evolved into a valuable ship for the U.S. Navy. In essence, sail drones are fully autonomous drones that surf atop the ocean to collect data. Coming in at 7 meters in length, 5 meters in height, the vessel uses wind to navigate and solar panels to power its onboard computers and sensors, all of which are powered by AI. In order to do its job well, it can be equipped with various acoustic payloads for specific mission requirements, with these setups including single beam or multi beam sonar, an echo sounder for fishery surveys, or an acoustic Doppler current profiler for water current measurements. It's with this equipment that the sail drone can conduct long range data collection for up to 12 months at a time without maintenance or refueling. And given that they are a sustainable zero carbon solution, the US Navy has bought quite a few of these. They've now begun to use these vessels for both data gathering missions and for patrolling the Red Sea. And while Iran has reportedly captured two of them in what has become a bit of a scandal, there's still a good chance that sail drones will continue to serve in the Navy. Number 5. The Yes and M Class when it comes to submarines, few outclass Russia's Yesm M class. First launched in 2017, three out of a planned 11 are currently in action. And when it comes to power, they're nothing if not impressive. That's because these 131 meter long submarines can have a massive 40 cruise missiles strapped onto them. And these missiles can be even equipped with thermonuclear warheads in order to deal a considerable amount of damage. However, while thermonuclear warheads may be just a tad bit scary, the sub Zircon hypersonic missiles are arguably worse. That's because they are scramjet powered hypersonic cruise missiles that can not only be maneuvered in flight, but can also reach speeds of up to Mach 9, which is nine times the speed of sound. As such, they're nearly impossible to shoot down, and so having a submarine that can launch them at targets all over the world is a game changer. Yet beyond its hypersonic missiles, the SNM class subs have impressive stats as well. That's because they're fitted with a 200 megawatt nuclear fission pressurized water reactor that produces 43,000 horsepower. And since it has unlimited range, this allows it to reach any corner of the globe at the drop of a dime. However, given the fact that the West keeps a careful eye on all Russian activity, these subs may have a harder time traveling around now than they have in the past. Number 4. The USS Zumwalt as far as tech goes, some people believe that the USS Zumwalt may be the future of the US Navy. Considered to be the largest and most technologically advanced surface combatant in the world, it comes in at a massive 183 meters in length and 15,000 tons of displacement. Yet all of this heft is still very stealthy, as its futuristic design and sharp angles turn its radar cross-section into the approximate size of a small fishing boat. In terms of speed, its wave-piercing hull allows it to slice through the water, while its two Rolls-Royce gas turbines drive a set of Curtis Wright electric generators that make the ship both powerful and fuel-efficient. To deal with long-range targets, it's got 80 advanced vertical launch cells to launch standard Tomahawk and Sea Sparrow missiles, and two 155mm advanced gun systems. And for shorter-range targets, it makes use of two Mark 46 close-in guns. If things really get hairy, it can even deploy its five helicopters to neutralize pesky adversaries, making it a very impressive vessel. Yet while there is a lot of optimism around the USS Zumwalt, I should note that serious questions have been raised as to whether or not it's all that useful. This is because while the Zumwalt was designed to assist in land attacks, exactly how this could work logistically was never properly ironed out. And while it is a jack of all trades, its lack of specialization means that many of its capabilities are simply better suited for other types of ships. Therefore, while the Zumwalt may be a cool boat, it will likely not see widespread adoption within the US Navy. Number 3. The Gerald Ford Class Throughout the Cold War, the United States developed many different designs for aircraft carriers, and the Nimitz was by most accounts the most advanced of them all. For many years after the Cold War, the US Navy simply continued to make aircraft carriers based on these older models. Yet after lots of new military development, they finally come up with a replacement for their Cold War era carriers. Known as the Gerald Ford class, the first one to be built was completed in 2017, and as of now, a total of three are currently in operation. Costing approximately $14 billion a pop, these carriers certainly aren't cheap, but they have a host of cool features that somewhat justify the price. For example, while the Gerald Ford class is larger than its other aircraft carrier counterparts, it has far more automated technology aboard, and as a result it requires 500 to 900 less crew members to operate than the preceding Nimitz class, and therefore costs about 30% less in terms of maintenance fees. 
Beyond its lower crew count, the Gerald Ford class also outcompetes the older Nimitz class thanks to the fact that it can duct 160 sorties per day instead of just 140 has the ability to produce 150% more electrical power, and has the ability to interoperate very well with other Navy, Army, and Air Force vehicles. The Gerald Ford class also has a very high weight and stability allowance to accommodate for the added weight of new systems that will be installed over the ship's 50-year operational life. It also has the ability to hold up to 90 aircraft, with this including F-35s and A-18s, and it's equipped with armaments such as the Raytheon Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and a close-in weapons system. As such, the Gerald R. Ford class of aircraft carriers are nothing short of incredible. Number 2. The Fujian Until recently, China owned just two aircraft carriers in comparison to the United States' 11, making battle with the country seem like a distant threat. However, after years of development, China has finally come up with a third, and the reality is it may just be comparable to the United States' new class of Gerald Ford series, known as the Fujian. The development of the carrier first began with the help of imported Russian technology, and after all the bells and whistles were installed, it was launched on June 17th of 2022. In terms of features, the aircraft carrier is pretty impressive, as it can display somewhere between 77,000 and 90,000 tons, has a length of approximately 300 meters, and a flight deck with a width of about 78 meters. Now, beyond its physical stature, the Fujian also has catapult launching systems, which appear to hold three separate deck catapults, with each being able to shoot out multiple types of aircraft depending on the mission at hand. This is possible via a system known as Integrated Electric Propulsion, which is powered with the help of a massive gasoline or diesel-run engine. Along with the ship's other features and armaments, the ship is advanced enough to be considered the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier outside of the United States. However, I should note that the Fujian has been subject to a lot of controversy. On one hand, its name is a little bit worrying, as Fujian is in fact the province directly opposite from Taiwan. A South China Morning Post article also seemed to expose some strange discrepancies, as the ship was photographed undergoing a fitting at a Shanghai shipyard that showed it without its radar and weapon systems in place, which is quite strange for a vehicle that should be a finished product. Therefore, the Fujian continues to be shrouded in mystery, only time will tell what role it will play in Chinese naval activities. Number 1. The Virginia Class Block 5 Submarine Naval submarines, they're some of the best ships in the U.S. arsenal, and I'd say that the Virginia class submarines are truly a step above the rest. First launched in 2003, the Virginia class is famous for having some of the most advanced naval technology on the planet. Coming in at 115 meters in length, it's propelled by an insanely powerful nuclear reactor that provides 280,000 horsepower to the ship, with this being further enhanced by two 40,000 horsepower steam engines. This in turn allows the submarine to travel at speeds of up to 46 kilometers an hour, and while this doesn't make it the fastest sub in the U.S. arsenal, it's its high-tech additions that push it over the edge. Now, one of the most important onboard devices on the submarine is its unified modular mast, which replaces the normal assortment of several masts that's standard on most Navy vessels. This is important because the unification allows for the total integration of all the sub's sensors and detection tools, which allows it to navigate water bodies, communicate with home base, and detect enemy communications and radar more easily. Virginia-class submarines also have an advanced pump jet propulsor, which is superior to a traditional blade propeller because it reduces the risk of cavitation and is significantly quieter. To increase its enemy detection and communication abilities, the Virginia-class makes use of a large aperture bow sonar array, which provides enhanced passive detection capabilities, a wide aperture lightweight fiber optic sonar array, which provides sonar sensor input to the submarine's combat system, and a pair of high-frequency active sonars mounted at the stern and bow, which enables safer operation in coastal waters, enhance under-ice navigation, and improve anti-submarine warfare performance. When combined with its low-cost, conformal array high-frequency sonar, the Virginia class is so high-tech that it can hear enemy ships that are up to 4,800 kilometers away. And when combined with its global strike missiles, Virginia-class subs can hit those targets from practically any corner of the globe and can launch them at speeds that are many times the speed of sound. When you further consider that Virginia-class also comes equipped with a plethora of torpedoes and missiles and that there are even plans to mount a nuclear-powered laser onto it, it becomes clear that the Virginia Block 5 class of submarine may just become the U.S. Navy's most impressive military asset. I'll see you next time. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves.
Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.